Here is a story by Najib Mahfouz. The title of the story is The Conjurer Made Off with the Dish. The time has come for you to be useful, said my mother to me. And she slipped her hand into her pocket saying, take this piaster and go off and buy some beans. Don't play on the way and keep away from the carts. I took the dish, put on my clogs and went out, humming a tune. Finding a crowd in front of the bean cellar, I waited until I discovered a way through to the marble counter. A piaster's worth of beans, mister, I called out in my shrill voice. He asked me impatiently, beans alone, with oil, with cooking butter? I did not answer, and he said roughly, make way for someone else. I withdrew, overcome by embarrassment, and returned home defeated. Returning with a dish empty, my mother shouted at me. What did you do? Spill the beans or lose the piaster? You naughty boy. Beans alone? With oil? With cooking butter? You didn't tell me, I protested. Stupid boy, what do you eat every morning? I don't know. You good for nothing. Ask him for beans with oil. I went off to the man and said, A piaster's worth of beans with oil, mister. With a frown of impatience, he asked, Linseed oil? Vegetable oil? Olive oil? I was taken aback and again made no answer. Make way for someone else, he shouted at me. I returned in a rage to my mother, who called out in astonishment. You've come back empty-handed, no beans and no oil? Linseed oil, vegetable oil, olive oil. Why didn't you tell me? I said angrily. Beans with oil means beans with linseed oil. How should I know? You're a good for nothing and he's a tiresome man. Tell him beans with linseed oil. I went off quickly and called out to the man while still some yards from his shop. Beans with linseed oil, mister! Put the piaster on the counter, he said, plunging the ladle into the pot. I put my hand into my pocket, but did not find the piaster. I searched for it anxiously. I turned my pocket inside out, but found no trace of it. The man withdrew the ladle empty, saying with disgust, You've lost the piaster. You're not a boy to be depended on. I haven't lost it, I said, looking under my feet and round about me. It was in my pocket all the time. Make way for someone else and stop bothering me. I returned to my mother with an empty dish. Good grief! Are you an idiot boy? The piaster! What of it? It's not my pocket. Did you buy sweets with it? I swear I didn't. How did you lose it? I don't know. Do you swear by the Koran you didn't buy anything with it? 
I swear. Is there a hole in your pocket? No, there isn't. Maybe you gave it to the man the first time or the second. Maybe. Are you sure of nothing? I'm hungry. She clapped her hands together in a gesture of resignation. Never mind, she said. I'll give you another piaster, but take it out of your money box. And if you come back with an empty dish, I'll break your head. I went off at a run, dreaming of a delicious breakfast. At the turning leading to the alleyway where the bean cellar was, I saw a crowd of children and heard merry festive sounds. My feet dragged as my heart was pulled toward them. At least let me 